Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about data types in Groovy and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and in Groovy we have the following data types which is byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean and string. So let me just uh, take this up and provide it in the notes and all these notes will be available to you. So these are the data types in Groovy and I will explain all of these and how to use them. I will go to my Eclipse and this is the Groovy project that we have created in the last sessions and I'm going to create a new Groovy class here. So I will go to new and go to others and select Groovy type next and I will name this as data types and finish now here I am not creating any class or functions I can directly start typing so here I can just say so these are the data types I will copy all this and paste it here and I will select everything and press control and forward slash on my keyboard to comment everything so we will start with byte now we have seen in the earlier session to define variables we just uh, give the data type or just say def and then uh, give the name of the variable and then whatever is the value we want to give so this is what we have learned earlier and if we define here variables are used to store information and this information can be of different type example this information can be of a type string or can be of a type number or can be of boolean like true or false so this is the data type so this different types of the information is the data type and these are the supported data types and if you see these are the same data types that we use in java language as well so it is coming from java directly and now let me just say for byte we will say data type is byte i can say byte b equals and i can give a numerical value and i can now just say print ln b if i run this i will do right click run as groovy script and you can see it is printing 10 now if I also go to Google and search for groovy data types and I will go to images and here you can see if I go to this image you can see in the number data type we have different kinds of data types we have byte uh, double float short long and integer so why do we have different data types for number so the reason is these different data types store uh, different ranges and I will show you the ranges as well and then uh, that is why we need different data types so if I say here if I want to see what is the range for byte I can just print the range here I can say print ln byte dot min value which will give us the minimum value that a byte can store and I will also say print ln byte dot max value and I will save this and run this again and you can see this is the minimum and maximum value for a byte so in a byte data type you can store from minus 1 to 8 until plus 127 uh, these digits you can store and the advantage here is in case you know that your number is going to be between this range instead of using any higher data type you can use byte which will save your memory so that is the reason we have different uh, data types for numbers similarly let me also just print a separator here so that it is easy to see on the console and now for short I can say short s equals I can give some value and print it and then I will also print the range for short so I will say short dot min value and print ln short dot max value and I will print the separator as well here and I will save and run this again 
and you can see for short it is printing our variable which is s and printing 100 which is the value and this is the range for short and similarly now we come to integer for integer we have the keyword int and I can give any variable name like i and I can give the value and then I can print the value by saying println and the variable name which is i and to print the range I will again say println integer dot min value and print ln integer dot now as you start typing it shows me auto completion so this should show you as well just in case you do not get auto completion you can press control spacebar on your keyboard and it should show you the suggestions so this is for integer and I will also use the separator and if I run this now you can see this is the range for integer so this is integer if we look at long so for long I will use the data type long and give any variable name for example I say L and here I can give the number or the numerical value and then print it and to print the range I will say long dot min value and long dot max value and I will save and run this and you can see this is the range for long data type and we can also uh, give L or capital L at the end of the number this is kind of type casting so this will also show me the same result so if I run this now you can see it is still giving me the same output and now for float I will use the keyword float the data type float and I am using variable f float f equals to so this is for a uh, decimal values so I can use it like that and we use f for casting and I will print the value here and for printing the range I will say float dot min value and print ln float dot max value I will save this and run this and you can see this is the range for float and similarly for double again I'm going to use the data type double and I will use a variable name and again give some decimal value so this has double has higher precision than float and you can also see the ranges so I will first print out the value and then I will print the range so I will say double dot min value and double dot max value and I will run this and you can see this is the range for double so there is a difference in precision and you can also use D at the end this is again for casting it will should give me the same output I will run this again and you can see this is the output now these were the number data types now we have other data types now care is used to store a single character so the syntax is care and you can use any variable and then you can store a single character so for example I can store a or any character you want and if you run this oh sorry I have not yet printed it let me just say print ln c and save and run this and you can see it is printing a now just in case I give more than two characters it is not allowed so if I give abc and I run this and here you can see we have got an exception so here it says cannot cast object abc with class java length string to class care so when you give uh, more characters it becomes a string and you cannot store a string in a care you can store a single character even if it is a special character like I want to store star that is fine I can run this 
this is fine it will print the single character but I cannot store uh, more than one characters in care and then we have boolean boolean is to store a uh, boolean values like true or false so I can say boolean flag equals true and print a ln flag and I will run this and it will print the boolean value so boolean again you can store only true and false and nothing else all or an expression that results in true or false so if you want to have some condition that results in true or false you can store it here and then finally we have string and string we know is used to store string values so for example I say string str equals groovy and then I will print str and this will print our value of the string which is groovy and you can see it is printing it here now uh, we have already learned that we can use def instead of a data type which will work in groovy so for example I can say def b equals 10 and this will still work fine so if I run this now I will save this and run this and you can see it is still printing the value however it is doing a dynamic type casting and we have seen something about that in the earlier session so groovy is a dynamically typed language the variables are dynamically typed we do not need to assign the typing of the variables upfront so this is dynamic type casting however if I do this then I am not sure that it is going to get byte so what is the data type of b for that I have to say I can print it I can say print ln b dot uh, get class and this should give me the data type I can also say dot get name and if I run this and if I see you can see it has given the data type integer to b so although our value is very small but it does not know uh, the value can also change so it always gives the data type integer to a numerical value and if you want to do typecasting you can do for example I say here before 10 I say I convert it to byte so now I have done typecasting for this value and now it should be byte so if I run this again and now if I see the data type you can see it has given byte here so this is how you can uh, see all the variables and sorry this is these are the data types and this is all about data types in groovy and variables we have already learned in the earlier session so variables and data type is a important topic and this forms the basis of learning more higher concepts in groovy i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching